Hello, this is Virgil Labrador, Editor-in-Chief of Satellite Markets and Research, and we're here at Satellite 2022 in Washington, D.C. with Brian Billman. He's the Chief Marketing Officer of Isotropic Systems. We actually did a video two years ago, just before, you know, we were interrupted by, uh, well, some, a little something called the global pandemic, but we're back. Actually, B Brian, you have a new title now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Chief Marketing <laughs> Officer now. Um, yeah, and as a company, we've also been very, very busy over the past right. two years. That was it hasn't my slowed next us question, down. actually, that uh, what's new, you know? So yeah, absolutely. We've been busy. The pandemic hasn't really slowed us down too much. Mm -hmm. um, we're announcing a lot of really interesting stuff this week, first of which uh, mm -hmm. is that we have successfully completed our over-the-air demonstrations with Telesat. And so what we did was we passed bidirectional traffic over their LEO satellite mm -hmm. while we were simultaneously connected to a geo satellite all mm -hmm. from a single terminal mm -hmm. and that follows up on our successful tests that we completed at the end of last year right. where we had an over-the-air demonstration uh, this was with SESGS and with the US Army where we also passed bidirectional traffic over their MEO 03B satellites mm -hmm. all simultaneously connected to a geo satellite and so with those tests we are now the world's first antenna to connect to all three orbits LEO, MEO mm -hmm. and GEO wow. and provide concurrent links across those orbits so wow. simultaneous links at the same time all down to a single terminal. And each wow. of those links is a full performance link as well. Wow. So with these successful tests, we've really demonstrated the unique and powerful capabilities of this transformational optics technology, mm -hmm. and demonstrated the value that that provides to our customers in terms of connectivity and resiliency and quality of service. Right, so multi-orbit uh, terminal. That's right, yeah. yeah. So what, what applications would that be good for? So we also announced this week uh, mm -hmm. our government mobility product mm -hmm. range. Mm -hmm. um, so that will be coming out at the second half of this year. Mm -hmm. It comes in a range of sizes. Mm -hmm. um, it's a fully integrated terminal. Mm -hmm. So what you see here includes everything that you need for connectivity. Mm -hmm. Of course, the multi-link antenna. Right. It includes the power supply, what would typically be your LNB and your buck functionality is already within there. Right. And we also include integrated modems as well. So we've mm -hmm. announced partnerships this week with iDirect and mm -hmm. with Teledyne and with SpaceBridge to integrate mm -hmm. their modem cards within the terminal. Mm -hmm. um, and so with this terminal, it truly is a plug and play terminal. All you need is power and data connectivity and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. uh, this product range will be completely ruggedized to all of the military standards mm -hmm. um, and it will work for land mobility and maritime mobility cases. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also completely electronic and mm -hmm. solid state, so providing the highest levels of reliability in the terminal. Right. And as I mentioned, every single terminal, again, can connect to all three orbits, yeah. Leo, Mio, and Geo, yeah. can have simultaneous links across those different orbits mm -hmm. um, and can connect to the full commercial and military frequency band. Right. Now, how far have you gone with at least uh, working with the LEO uh, constellations? Yeah, so with LEO, just recently, again, mm -hmm. that successful uh, demonstration with Telesat has mm -hmm. proven that capability that mm -hmm. we can connect to LEO. Okay. And so now that we've fully demonstrated the capability of it and proven it, mm -hmm. as a company, we're focused on shifting towards production and shifting towards quality. Okay. So we're laser focused right now on making sure that as we get to our product launch in the second half of this year, mm -hmm. that every single terminal that ships out our door meets the highest levels of quality and the highest levels of military standards. Right, right, right. So where do you see, you know, post-pandemic, where do you see, uh, you know, your segment of the industry going and how is your company, uh, you know, taking advantage of those right. opportunities well, or challenges? Well, well, <laughs> it's really, uh, it's really a perfect time, I think, right now. I mean, we're seeing more and more satellites being launched. Mm -hmm. um, it seems like there's new satellites and new right. constellations being announced almost every day. Right. And that that's amazing for us because mm -hmm. what we want to do is we want to converge all of those communication pathways into a single terminal so that every single user can access all of those different communication possibilities. Right. Um, and that's that's important for a wide range of reasons. On the, on the government side, for example, um, resiliency is a huge part of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're, we're seeing this play out in real time right now right. Um, where if, if you look at uh, the JADC2 implementation plan that came out last week, mm -hmm. the big focus is on information advantage, right? Mm -hmm. It's about who can gather the most information, who can analyze the most information, uh, disseminate the most information, and protect the most information. Right. And if you have that advantage, then you're going to have the advantage on the battle space. And this terminal solves a lot of those challenges for them. Mm -hmm. One, in the case of just multiplying the available throughput that you can get to a single terminal by mm -hmm. creating multiple full performance links. So mm -hmm. being able to get data in the hands of those frontline warfighters that need it. Right. Um, 
too in terms of flexibility to optimize their assets. Mm -hmm. So certainly congestion has been a problem of the past, mm -hmm. but with the ability to connect to multiple networks, um, you can be smart and efficient of how you're routing your traffic across those networks to manage around any congestion issues you might have and to be more efficient about the assets that you have so you can distribute the most amount of information. Right. And then lastly, it's about resiliency. Um, so it's pretty hard to tell, especially if you're looking at peer, near peer and peer rivals. Mm -hmm. um, there's lots of different ways that they can disrupt your comms, whether that be a right. cyber attack mm -hmm. or an electronic warfare attack where they might be jamming a specific frequency, right. um, or a kinetic attack where multiple countries now have demonstrated, you know, uh, blowing up satellites. Right. And you can't predict which of those they might take down. Right. So the way to provide resilience around that mm -hmm. is through a flexible multi-link terminal right. that can essentially connect to any satellite in any orbit. So you have those redundant links right. and those backup links. So right. if one frequency gets jammed, mm -hmm. uh, great, we'll switch to a different frequency, which is right. already set up and running. Or um, if one network goes down, great, right. we'll start passing our traffic over the other network that we're already connected to. Right. And all that can happen simultaneously right. within one so terminal. So you don't have to have multiple antennas, multiple ground systems. That's right. Yeah. And, and, and so especially with these customers who right. can be very space constrained as well, mm -hmm. being able to do all of that within a single terminal right. is very, very powerful. Right. Right, right. Well, yeah, it looks like you've been busy. <laughs> Very busy, yep, yep. Lots of long nights <laughs> like, and weekends. Yeah, yeah, right. So what else can we expect from uh, isotropic systems? Um, so what you'll be seeing, uh, again, the product launch is coming out uh, at the second half of this year. Mm -hmm. We're actually already sold out our production capacity through the end of this year, and we're starting to build that backlog into next year. Mm -hmm. um, so we're really excited to get these products in the hands of our customers. Right, right. Well, thank you very much, uh, Brian. Thanks, Virgil. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. And this is a company that we'll be following closely. And for all the news and information on the global satellite industry, you always have satellite markets and research at www.satellitemarkets.com.